Hey, this is B from Kongs R Us, and today we're gonna show you how to download and install Fight K2 in 2022 in less than five minutes. This is the easiest way to download and install Fight K, which is an online platform that allows you to play tons of retro games, over 8,000 games online with other people for free. And it's an amazing interface, and uh, you can put this on your PC, onto an arcade cabinet, whatever you want to. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Fight Day Cut fightkate.com and go to register and register an account so from here you're going to enter a username a password confirm your password and an email go ahead and register next go back to the home page and you're going to download the version for windows mac or ubuntu i'm going to download the windows version onto my desktop it's only about 216 megabytes so it should just take us a couple of seconds to install depending on how fast your speed is but let's go ahead and let that install and i'm going to show you the second website you're going to go to i'll leave links to both of these in the description below the next page you're going to go to is the fc2 json pack an auto downloader site so this fc2 roms.zip file is what you're going to download we're going to click on this I'll open this onto our desktop now this pack does not contain any rom files whatsoever at all these are just scripts that actually work and supplement and work with fight k2 and it has pretty much every game except 99 different games that are missing out of the list of 8,000. and we're just going to drop this into the emulators folder once we extract everything from the actual installer so that's it you just need these two files and we're good to go i'm going to go ahead and create a folder on my desktop called fight k um, just for ease of unzipping so we're gonna double click on our installer go to do you want to install fight kate yes and we're going to select that folder on our desktop you can really put this anywhere on your your computer it can be your document section you could even have it on a secondary flash drive or a hard drive i do recommend having at least about 30 to 40 gigabytes of space free for this because if you downloaded every single ROM file and got every single thing working in Fight K, the, the whole set is about 30 to 40 gigabytes big. Um, but the great thing about this auto installer is that you just play the games that you want and you don't have just empty ROMs or, or files that are taking up space on your PC. Um, so there you go. The first thing you're going to want to do if this is the first time you're setting up is installing DirectX. You can just hit next. Uh, no harm if you already have it installed, you can go ahead and get this set up. But this is it. So I'm going to show you the next stage, which is uh, the FC2 ROM zip. When you open up the zip file, you're going to see all these different files that are .json script files. And we're going to drop this into the Fightcade here emulators folder. So in the in the section of Fightcade, I'll go over everything here. We're going to drop it here. So let's just copy all of these files directly into the emulator file. And that's it. We're done. So while that DirectX is finished, let's go ahead and just do a quick overview of what's inside the Fight K folder. You have your executables here. You can launch uh, Fight K1 if you wanted to or Fight K2. Looks like our DirectX finished. Uh, you have the ROMs folder, which there's nothing here. This is just links to go to those emulators and the ROM files, which nothing is present currently, which, which makes sense. Uh, you have your emulators that are listed here as well. And um, you can play SNEX games or Flyclass, which is Dreamcast, uh, Naomi games. So this is it, and you're pretty much done. Uh, so after that, all you need to do is just double click on Fight K2 and then log in using the credentials that you created on the website. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first time you launch up Fight K, the EXE, it's going to ask you to log in with your username and password. So go ahead and type in uh, whatever it is you created. I'm just going to pick my good old Kong's Arrest name, and it's going to drop you into their homepage interface system, uh, which is fairly simple. There's information about what Fight K is, reading the manual, FAQs, uh, and then to get into lobbies and to games, you're going to click on this little magnifying glass, and it's going to take you to kind of the top lobbies where people are in, but there's over 8,000 games you can search for, tons of them, arcade games, um, retro games, Tetris, Metal Slug, Nerf, Mario Kart, Capcom vs. SMK. There's a ton of stuff. This is the biggest multi-cade on your PC that you could have. You could just play Fightcade and not play anything else and you'll have access to all this stuff. Um, so all you need to do is to, to get into one of these rooms. So here's a popular room here. This is Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has 300 people in the room. Click on the join button and then the script is going to auto start up and then it's going to search to see if you have that ROM. And if you don't, the script is actually going to grab it for you. So this is really nice. You don't already have to have complete ROM sets. All you need to do is just open up the room and it's going to grab it for you. Once you do that, 
what well, when you click on the join button it joins what's called this lobby system you can see who's looking to play you can type in chat if you want to talk some smack or ask if anybody wants to play as well but you want to click on this test game on the right hand corner and it's going to actually pop up and see if the game's running so let's go ahead and see if the game's running there it is street fighter 3 third strike and then this is running final burn neo so i'm just going to go to input and then map inputs so you do have to map your inputs as well and so uh, you can use a controller, a joystick, whatever you want to. I have a PS3 fight stick that I modded with a Brook Universal that I'm going to map really quickly to these buttons. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to map our coin, our starts button here. Uh, player one up, down, left, right. And then weak punch, medium punch, strong punch, weak kick medium kick strong kick that's it and then we can actually play our game so uh once you're in the system i'm pushing some credits i'm entering the coin and here i am gonna try my best daigo impersonation i'm just kidding um i don't know how to play this game really well but here i am playing street fighter alpha 3 yeah I'm not great at this. Uh, it's not Alpha 3, sorry. It's uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I actually do want to play this game a little bit more and get into it, but this is going to get me into playing the game. So you can play this, uh, again, single player. You can just practice this. This is on the, the test mode. If you want to exit this, you can just go ahead and close this out. Um, if you want to challenge somebody and play somebody online, all you got to do is just look up somebody that you want to play. You can see what country they're from, uh, what rank they have. They have like a little letter system. Um, say I want to, uh, let's uh, challenge Javo. You would double click their name and then you'd say you have challenged Javo and then they can accept the challenge or not. So the lobby system isn't that great. You don't know who's going to challenge you or not or accept. You can cancel it. You could also select if you want to play them as a FT3, first to three set, first to five set. Um, you can set up all that stuff as well. There's tons of different options that you can see your profiles. You can ignore people. You can spectate um, as well. Uh, but that's that's fight Kate. So let's go ahead and check out another lobby system uh, One of the most popular games that that people might want to play is uh, indeed Marvel vs. Capcom 2 We all are hoping and, and dreaming that arcade one up will release a Marvel vs. Capcom uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cab later this year at some point um, But if you want to play it currently, there's hundred and twenty people in this lobby And again, if you just join the lobby system for this, it's gonna grab it and work already with an amazing emulator called fly class and you can play online with other people so uh it's pretty great that this is already set up and again you're in the lobby system for marvel vs capcom 2. Uh, this one is a little bit different so we're going to go to test game and see here you can start the game but in here you got to go to settings and then depending on your control settings you're going to want to set your controls you whether you're using a keyboard we're going to be using raw input which is this x input controller i have and then you have to map your controllers up down left right and then i'm just going to scroll all the way down to my buttons uh you kind of have to know what your buttons are these top two buttons are your punches and then uh, these bottom two are your kicks and then uh, this is the strong punch and then this one is the strong kick and then that's pretty much it and i'm going to stop the um start button to that and the menu to that button so that's it so hit done button and we're going to test the game and we're going to be playing marvel versus capcom 2 in just a second so let's go ahead and test it out so boom full screen mode you, you don't have to do full screen mode depends on how you want to but there it is running sega naomi beautiful this is uh, essentially the dreamcast version of the game um, i believe um but yeah, or actually this is using Naomi ROM, so this might be the arcade version actually. So Flycast does play Dreamcast games as well, but here we are. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Let's do it. Let's get in here. Gonna take you for a ride. Gotta pick my Spider-Man. Gotta pick my Iceman. And Doctor Doom are my three characters. So let's see, see how I do in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's been a while, so I might be a little bit rusty. So let's just check this out and see how I do.
That was just to say I'm pretty terrible at Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but that's okay. I'm a Marvel 1 fan, but I can practice now because I got this up and running on Fight K2 super easily. Uh, again, and Fight K2 not only has all these different fighting games, um, you can only have three lobbies open at a time. So if you need to close a room, you just click on this button here. You can close a room and join another one. So you can only be in three. You have your Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Again, if you want to play Champion Edition, you can do it here as well. Um, but not only, not only that, let's go look up some classic games let's look up like so you want to play like Mario Kart you can play Mario Kart in the SNES with other people you can join this and then set your controls and play freaking Mario Kart online with somebody else you would just go to test game and again it's running the SNES X emulators system so you just got to put your inputs input configuration and that's it up left down right B A Y X and then start select left right right there boom that's right we're playing Mario Kart on fine uh, what is it fight k2 so you can pretty much play a lot of different games on here 8,000 games pretty much the entire arcade library team NT X-Men Simpsons you can do it all on fight k2 so it's pretty fun Hope this video was really helpful for anybody that wants to check it out. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know if you plan on setting up Fight K just to have some fun. Let me know which games you're interested in playing. And maybe we'll play together. See you next time. Bye.